Why, hello and welcome back to another episode of Voice of the Rings. I'm your host and guide, Zelda Dyer. And today we're going to talk about the filters tab in Lord of the Rings Online. You ever get annoyed with a game where you don't like a sound? Now, really, this for me in Lotro, there's very few sounds that annoy me. I love the sounds. I love the music. It's a very well done game. But occasionally you might, you know, be in an area where you're questing for a few hours and you get kind of tired of hearing that same wind sound over and over or that owl or that craven or whatever and you're just kind of annoyed with it so anyway it's down here you go down this arrow down here you bring up alt um r you can press that on the keyboard or you can click on filters and open this up so here's how you use it okay so we're gonna use for sounds today you can also use this for uh quests if there's certain quests you don't if you want it, uh filtered and stuff and removed or whatever or even items so when you're looting something and you don't want to bring up certain trash loot, if you're getting tired of having to clean something out of your inventory all the time, you can put it through and filter it. Now, if you filter it here on the left, it'll filter it for your character. If you filter it here on the right, it'll filter it for all your characters on your account. Okay, so you don't have to keep doing it all the time. And I will show you how to do it. So now with sounds is the one that you'll probably need this for the most is my guess. Um, you just click record and it's now going to listen. And it's whatever plays, whether it be uh, sound effects, all these sound effects, wind, you know, stone with me walking. It's, you know, a lot of stone sounds. Um, all these different things, fire. But you hear that fire medium right there too? The little crackle. Here, I'm gonna turn up my um, ambience so you know what I'm talking about, sound effects. Be a little easier for you to understand. So I'm gonna do the music at about 50%. Now you hear that fire, that little crackle. Let's say that's bothering you, right? Let's say that's bothering you. And let, how do you remove that? Okay, so again, you're going to click record. It's going to be fighting. Well, there it is. So I'm just dragging this over to filter. We lost it. There's no, more, there's no more sound. Now, what if I also get rid of cold night, which is that wind sound? Uh, you have already filtered that. Oh, excuse me. I didn't cold. I got the wrong one. <gasps> Look at that. Air to wind music. What if I want to get rid of the soundtrack? All right. All right, so it went to a different soundtrack, right? And it just made a bunch of different things. All those, well, that was a horse running by, right? Those were horse footprints, right? All the different horse, that was a guy walking sound effects. See, now granted, they're gonna fly by, right? They're gonna really fly by. But again, you can start, you can remove whatever you want here, right? This will be good, and then you can close this, and it will automatically have those stay filtered, right? Again, I don't hear the fire, but what if I want it back? Or what if I want, if I want to do account wide, I can move it over here, but I don't want it account wide, I want the fire, so. I'm gonna move these back over into recently, just kind of pull them off there. And now, usually they'll come back immediately, but if the fire doesn't or something, pretty much all it is is you need to load into the area again. I have noticed, I tested a little bit. That's kind of a thing that happens. So I'm just gonna walk over here and I'm gonna walk back. So no fire sound right here. So let's load into a different area, meaning I'm gonna go into Thorin's Hall, which will actually have a load screen, which is what I mean by load. Right? Okay, now we got the sound. We got the howling of the wind in here. Right? Look at this. I can hear the fire again here. Right? No issue. Right? It's back. So it doesn't like ruin your sounds forever if you don't want to. Now, if I come back over here, you should be able to hear these fires again. Maybe the sound effects being overdone by the music. I just did this as practice, so record. It could be I'm just not loading that sound for some reason in this area. I do know it works. I just tested. I turned it off and on, so I promise it didn't break it. You can hear this fire just fine. See how we can hear that fire? Again, I will show you again one more time just so you can know. Record. All right. Uh, the loot playing. So let's say you get tired of the dwarf loot. We turned off the dwarf loot, right? Or let's say you get tired of having the fire. Okay, so again, it is kind of a stop recording. You can click stop and it'll, it'll still be here. So go ahead and click stop if they're moving too quickly for you guys, right? Small fire. Right? Well, there we go, right? Now, what if I want to have this back? Right? So now I record again, clear. And again, you may have to log in and log out. If it doesn't, it should instant, oh, I can hear a little bit of fire. 
again, I can hear his loot again, right? Again, the loot guy plays different songs. So if you like, if there's a specific loot song you don't like, the automated guy, you may have to do, um, or you don't want any loot playing automatically from these guys, these NPCs, you might have to go through and like remove a couple songs, right? But again, if you log out and log back in, it should, everything should be back to what you're hearing, right? So I will show you, for example, I'm gonna log out and I'm gonna log back in. Again, these filters can be very handy for these kind of things for you. And if it does help you, if this did help you, and you're like, oh my gosh, I wish I knew about these sooner, because I didn't really even know about these very much, okay? I've just learned about this recently with these filters. Um, again, I'm only gonna use them if I find something really frustrating with sounds or something. Items, I just like to sell the items, but there's some items you can't sell that are bound to you. Like, you could filter out those, those boxes they give you if you don't ever wanna use those. Again, there's our music again. We got like a double song playing right now. Again, if I go over here, I'm curious. We're gonna go in here and load in real quickly. I will have a link, by the way, to the uh, Lotro um, wiki about this whole thing with these sounds, okay? Yeah, I can hear this thing. I just couldn't hear it over the other sound effects. There's the fire. That guy's that guy's raging. Now, what if we just turn off sound effects for a minute? Yep, I can hear it. You hear the fire? It's just real quiet. That was the only reason. There it is. Hear it? There's a the sound again. It's back. So again, don't freak yourself out if you're like, oh no, did I delete the sound forever? I'm not gonna hear it again. I clicked the wrong one. It won't. They'll, they'll be fine. And um, again, there's his thing, and then you can hear the fire again, right? Sounds like he's playing two songs at once. Something's going on there. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Um, yeah, but anyway, again, those filters, they're really nice if you need them. There's a loot, there's a quest filter, there's a loot filter, and there's a sound filter. The sound one's probably the one you're ever gonna really need, but unless you're really like someone who just gets so tired of one item dropping in your inventory all the time, then you're gonna have to do that with the items when you're looting stuff, all right? Cool, cool. And by the way, you guys, just a little trick. If there's a certain item that you want to be filtered that it will automatically pick up, uh, you literally just drag and drop it from your inventory. You're like, I don't want you to ever give me this item again, right? That kind of thing. That's how you do that. And again, with the quest one too, I believe it is probably... Also, by the way, little side note for the quest one for you guys, just to finish up the video. Uh, it will not work on regular quests. It only works on the quests that try to bestow upon you over and over. All right, so those are the ones you're gonna be able to, you be able to filter out if you need to. Like the auto quests that like pop up and they try to like make you do them or something kind of thing, which are usually just to help you because they pop up in an area. But uh, is that something that bothers you? You can filter them here as well. But it will not work from just straight out of your inventory things you've accepted because you could just filter those yourself and why would you need a filter for those? You're picking them, right? You're choosing to pick them up. So that's another little side note for that for the quest one. But again, really, the loot when you just drag in something you don't want. Uh, again, the, the wiki page has a whole info about it, like will it ruin your odds, that kind of stuff. It'll all be down there. I'll have it linked in the description. And the sound one's the one you're really going to want and need. But again, I would be very picky and choosy with that because realistically, if something is bothering you, like the ambiance music, you get to turn on the ambiance sounds, have the music louder. You know what I mean? Or just turn off the music entirely. If that's bothering you, again, I don't know why you would... No, the music is amazing in this game. Um, but again, yeah, it basically you can pick and choose. If you want the ambiance sounds, but there's just one thing that's bothering you over and over, you can remove that one thing with that little record remove. So anyway, hope that helped you guys out. Link will be in the description, and I'll see you guys all in the next episode of Voice of the Rings. I'm your host and guide, Zolan Iron Shield. Really fun. I learned about filters too making for making this video, so I hope that you enjoyed it. Subscribe button's there. Next episode will be up there for guides and electric tales over there. You guys all have a great day in Middle Earth, and thank you to my wonderful Patreons. And again, you guys have a blast. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you in the next episode of Voice of the Rings.